So with 3.js you can create 3D scenes for your browser apps. Then you might want to do some animations in your 3D scene. This video is about tween.js, which is a simple tweening library. By tweening you mean interpolating between a state A and a state B. So with that you can animate your 3D objects, move them around, change the scales or do the camera work as I did in this example. Let's take a look at this simple to use library. I use this npm dependency which can be installed as usual. There is also a short introduction here. I also have prepared a basic 3D scene with the typical things like camera, renderer, a scene and some, some lights and also two objects. One is the floor and one is this red box here. Before I start using tween.js I import the module for that. I go here and say import as tween from this module. Now I must also change the animate loop. I must go here and say tween update. And this will update all my tweens which I have created and started every frame. And now I'm ready to go. I can start tweening this red box here. Let's say I would like to move it from here to somewhere here. For that I go to the object where I, which I have created here. And then I can create a, a tween. I can say tween1 is a new tween, a new tween. And here I must insert the starting state. It can be any kind of object having any kind of numeric values. I can define anything I want. I can just say x. x is starting at 20. y and it's starting at 5. And z, it is starting at also at 20. And then I can say this tween goes to, calling the to function. And I can, or I must pre provide the final state. Then I would like to move it to x minus 20 and y plus 15 and z, let's say, minus 15. And I must also, or I can provide a duration. I would like to have it in 4 seconds, 4000 milliseconds. And then I can just use this tween and start it. But it will not do anything. The object is not moving around. That is because the tween is interpolating from this state to this state. But I must apply the changes to the position of the box. And for that I can just go here and say tween. And call the onUpdate function. And I must provide a handler function for that. A callback function which consumes an object containing these xyz coordinates and also an elapsed time. So I can just go and provide a function with this signature. It has an input parameter of the, an object containing the xyz coordinates and the elapsed time. And having that update object, I can apply these xyz values on the position of the box. So I can say box position set object x object y and object z. So when I save that you immediately see that the box is moving around. Let me reload that. Now we have a smooth linear interpolation from point A to point B. There are a couple of more things I can do with the tween. I can just say, for instance, repeat. I can tell how many times to repeat that. Maybe I want to repeat it 10 times. And now you see it's repeating it up to 10 times. Or maybe I can also provide a delay for that. 
let me call the delay function. And I can delay it by, let's say, 500 milliseconds. You notice the small delay here. Or maybe one second. Let me remove the delay for now and change the duration to one second so I can show you the easing function. And the easing function, it specifies how fast or how slow the interpolation starts or ends. So for that you, I call the easing function of the tween and I can say tween easing This is the easing, and there are several easing modes. Linear is the default one. So there is actually a useful wiki page. It is this one here, and it explains all the different tweener easings. For instance, here the linear tweener is where the rate of change is constant over time. Also, there's the quadratic tweener, and with easing out, it gets slower at the end, or easing in. Quadratic easing in means it starts slow but gets faster towards the end. And also the bounce tweener, which is, you know, looking like a bounce at the end. Or well, this is how the bounce in out tweener looks like. It bounces at the start, it bounces at the end. Or bounce easing in, it bounces only at the start, at, not at the end. Here's the back tweener. Also the cubic tween. So let's just try out a couple of those easings. Let's say I would like to have the quadratic easing. And I also must provide do I want to have the in or the out mode or the in out mode. Let me use the in out. So it is eased at the start and at the end of the tween. Let's save that. Or well, let's try the in mode. Let me also try the, the for example, the elastic tween, also in out. It looks like a rubber or something. Or maybe also the bounce, also in out. All right, now we have a general idea of the easing. And um, there's also some more what you can do with tweens. You can actually chain the tweens. For that, let me remove the repeat function. Also, let me increase the duration. And I can just create a second tween and maybe I would like to move the box back to its original position so instead of repeating it over and over again I would like to move it back and then starting from the beginning again and for that I just say the second tween starts where the first tween ends And then going to the start position of the first tween. And also having the same duration, two seconds. And probably using the same easing. And then I can say tween one, chain, tween two. And that just means when the first tween has finished, it will trigger the second tween, and I can then say tween2 chain tween1. And that means when the second tween has finished, it will trigger the first tween. And that way I will have an endless movement between this point and this point. Right now it is missing the movement from here to there, because I must also provide the update function to the to the second tween. 
Let me just refactor that. Let me move this to a variable. Const update and provide the update function to the first tween and provide the update function to the second tween. And now I'm moving my box from here to there and then backwards and then again. This interpolation object can be any kind of arbitrary object. You can specify any num numeric members you want. Let's say I would like to extend that and introduce another numeric variable. I call it ry to indicate that it's used to rotate on the y-axis and it's starting with 0 and it is going to ry and to the value math pi half and in the second tween this is used as the start value and it is going to the value 0 Then of course I need to define this member in the handler function. And then I can use it to rotate the box on the y-axis. Box rotation y-axis is equals object ry. And now you see the box is also rotated. With tweens you can do a lot of cool animations as you can see here. For example this little swordman patrolling is a chain of tweens which move and rotate the character. Or this mechanical arm which has several joints. And all rotation values of the joints are tweened as well. And of course you can tween the camera. So here I have tweened the camera x, y and z position and the look at values. Those are two tweens and each tween is a camera perspective and they are all chained together. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video and have a nice day.